Good morning, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in glorious growing zone 6B in New England. Today it's sweet potato day. Um, we're looking at some frosty temps over the next couple of days. It's gonna be dipping into the 30s tonight and tomorrow night. So I wanna see about getting those sweet potatoes out of the ground and into some newspaper to cure. And I think we're gonna do that today. Come on over, let's see what's going on. So this is the sweet potato patch behind me. And you can see it's got all the signs that the sweet potatoes should be ready. We've got yellowing at the edges of the leaves. We've got vining, we've got some flowering, so it should be just about ready. Um, but the thing is, I don't know if there's actually anything in there. Bill and I took a stab at it yesterday experimentally trying to see if maybe there was something there and we could get an idea of what was going on. So we dug up the edge. We didn't find anything. So I don't know what's going to happen. We may, I wonder if we're going to dig this whole thing up and there will be nothing there or it's possible that we just weren't digging close enough to where the slips were actually planted. I don't know. So we're gonna find out today. Think good thoughts. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little intimidated by this whole thing. Um, there's a lot happening here. Rock. <laughs> uh, there are no potatoes on these sweet potatoes. Let me hold this up. So, bundle one, we have a lot of these long red roots, but no actual sweet potatoes. Oh man, I hope this isn't a bust. Three full size, one of which got speared. Sorry. <laughs> and a whole bunch of these. I'm hoping there's more than that going on in here. We're gonna keep digging because we really wanna put the garden to bed. So leaving them in is not an option right now. Here we go. It wasn't a complete bust, but it wasn't great. Um, this is what we got. I would say, I would say it's about three pounds, four, may, between three and five pounds. Um, most of them are real little. You know, or the orange ones. Um, which led me to some interesting culinary ideas, but we're gonna have to wait a few weeks before we can do that. Uh, these need to cure. 
which is gonna make them sweet. They gather their sugars while they're curing. So I'm gonna take these in. I'm just gonna brush some of the dirt off. I'm not gonna wash them or anything. And these are going to get wrapped in newspaper and then they're gonna sit in the basement. I think it's like six weeks. It might, it's, it might be three weeks. It might be six weeks. I'll, I'll put a note. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so they're gonna cure in the basement for a while, do their thing. Couple halfway decent sized ones. Uh, this one got stabbed. I've got a couple like that, but. Sorry. <laughs> got a handful of halfway decent looking ones, which will be nice. We can, I don't know, these might be nice just baked or steamed even. So these are a good size to roast, maybe with a little olive oil and some rosemary and garlic, or to just clean them up and steam them might be really good. Um, or even mash them with a little bit of za'atar and fresh garlic. So all is not lost, um, but man, there's something I didn't do right. And I don't know if it's because and I don't know if it's because we got slips later than the company anticipated and so they got in the ground later or if I didn't leave them long enough or if this area just doesn't actually get enough sun for this. I don't know. <laughs> um, so please send me all your tips and tricks for sweet potatoes because this, this was not what I was expecting. I'm glad we got something. Um, but I wanna do better next year. So let me know what I'm missing, y'all. Let me know. So we might not have gotten a ton of sweet potatoes out of the garden, um, but we did find a massive number of rocks and bricks in there. <laughs> Among the earthworms. So I know I pulled the beans out with the intention of putting the garlic there, but I have changed my mind. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do today is pop the garlic in where the sweet potatoes were. I picked up a couple of really great varieties from the farm store. One of which is, this one is called Zemo and they put a little fact sheet in with it. Um, this is similar to German white. It is a hard neck garlic. I'm told that we need to do hard neck garlic in New England. So I was really surprised when I also found at the farm store something called Inchellium Red, um, which is a soft neck. And I figured, what the hell, let's give it a shot, right? The worst that could happen is it won't come up, which we're learning here, right? We're learning. So I'm gonna put these in today. Um, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pick the largest cloves to plant. Um, they do go in pointy side up into the ground. So I'm gonna separate some garlic and grab my dibbler and pop these in the ground. So I'm just gonna, to, to get at the cloves, I'm just gonna very carefully remove the outer wrapping on it. Let me see. And you can see these are pretty big cloves, so that should make it a little easier. There we go. And I'm gonna leave them in the paper. This is that Zemo garlic. You can see there are no little ones in there at all. So just like that, um, leave the paper on them. Not a big deal. This is that in Chilean red and you can see it, it's the soft neck variety. It's remarkably different looking from the hard neck variety. Uh, we've still got these nice, beautiful, big cloves here. 
Um, but there's like a second row of them on the inside and up here. And get these separated out too. So I have 20 lovely cloves of hardneck garlic. So I think what I'm gonna do is plant the 20 goodly cloves of hardneck garlic that I've got. And then in front of that, I'm gonna plant 20 large cloves of the softneck garlic. There, there were a lot more cloves of the softneck garlic. Um, that said, there weren't a whole lot that were as big as these. And we want to plant the largest ones in anticipation of the largest bulbs. So I've got my garlic in, I've marked it, and now we just really leave it alone. One of my favorite things about garlic is it's really a set it and forget it kind of a thing. Planting it now, you could plant garlic all the way into the middle of November, I think, at least we did last year, um, and just leave it be. If, if it sprouts before it gets super cold, no big deal, it'll recover and you'll see it again in spring. So I'm pretty stoked about this. I only did a handful of elephant garlic this year and they, they did okay, they did okay. Um, so this is my first, baby's first real garlic. Um, so hey, it's in the ground and I'm just gonna trust it to do its work. Next thing. Tell me about this. Rye seed. This is um, winter rye. Winter rye. Technically. Winter rye. Um, this is not rye grass. Don't plant rye grass. You'll n you'll never get rid of it. This is actual rye. Like like you could grind it, make it into bread. This is rye. So the idea is we did all the clearing in the back this year, but we have no ground cover for it and where it's on a slope and a very wet area we want something that's gonna start to put down a root system and help hold all the ground in place and having plants in there will also having plants in there will also help with water absorption so we're not getting so much flooding we're not getting puddles that sort of thing and rye can go in goes in late in the season and has a really sturdy root system. So the hope is that the rye will take hold and kind of help hold all the soil together and help with our erosion problems. And attract deer. And attract deer. I'd like to attract deer. Yeah, I'd I like, like to deer. attract the deer too. <laughs> so. All right, so um, let, let us show you what we're gonna do here. Okay, so the idea is, is the yard slopes down from here. You can see that drop along here and then in this back area is where we have a lot of water issues and we've put some trenches in. So the idea today is we're going to seed this whole lower area and kind of work our way up a little bit and see if the rye will take hold and kind of help hold that that low-lying area together and help with our water issues. So all that said we only have five pounds of winter rye seeds. So we're gonna start at the back and cover as much as we can.
right, so it's down. Um, this is one of those, let's see what happens kind of things. Uh, we put like five pounds of rye down probably on the 25 pound area. Um, and the... And the clover. And the clover, we mixed in some clover yeah. with it just because. And we didn't do anything. We just sort of broadcasted the seed and we're gonna let it go and see what happens. So this is really a science project of sorts for us. Um, I just want the deer to come close enough to see them. <laughs> um, but we, we really didn't do anything other than just broadcast the seed and we'll let it do, and we'll let it just take its course. It's gonna do what it's gonna do. It'll root or not root. It may get eaten by birds. It may get eaten by birds. It may get eaten by our birds when they're out here foraging. I don't know, but hopefully a bunch of it will germinate and we'll get that ground cover that we want for this soggy area. We'll follow up. We will. I do that. Mm -hmm. We have a camera. And a cat. A cat. Hey, Joker. Oh, look who I found. Say hello. Say hello to the people. Yes. Our friendly neighborhood mouse catcher. And chipmunk catcher. And chipmunk catcher. <sighs> and dog torturer. Oh my God, what is his deal with the dogs? He has beaten up three dogs this weekend. <laughs> he just really hates dogs. Dude. Anyway, <laughs> so we're gonna get on with our day and get Joker back to his home. Thank you so much for hanging out with us while we took care of the sweet potatoes, Schrodinger's sweet potatoes. Um. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining us on this day of subtle disappointment. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us while we harvested our sweeties um, for what they're worth you know we'll probably get a meal or two out of them but uh eh, year one we'll do better next year right we'll do better we'll do better next year <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us today we'll catch you up soon take care All right, so. <laughs> that bird. Um.